sao tôi nói We need to be prepared for Ebola, um, given that preparedness helps reduce lead times and response. So for the past year, this is a very protracted um, crisis, um, we've been working with partners in the high-risk countries neighbouring the DRC, South Sudan is one of them. So essentially we've been focusing on how can we support the ministries of health in enhancing preparedness levels within those countries. Logistics Technical Working Group is led by the Logistics Cluster and co-led by the World Health Organization with support from the Ministry of Health of the Republic of South Sudan. Uh, the Technical Working Group has been conducting meetings, conducting visits, assessing process, and then giving their uh, suggestions as to what needs to be improved. To ensure the humanitarian community is prepared in the event of an Ebola outbreak, the logistics cluster, through WFP, facilitates access to common logistics services. Logistics cluster shares critical information with the humanitarian community through the production of maps, dashboards, and via a dedicated section of its website containing important Ebola-related information to be used by the humanitarian organization. To date, the World Food Program has constructed three isolation centers to assist in the containment of any suspected Ebola cases in South Sudan. WFP through its year has, it has been handy when it comes to collecting samples every time uh, an alert is uh, found. WFP through the logistics cluster and UNHRD have facilitated the procurement of four ambulances donated to partners in at-risk locations. The World Food Program has also undertaken preventive measures such as setting up washing stations and putting up EVD sensitization posters. So as you've just seen, in recent months there's a lot of work that has gone into Ebola preparedness in South Sudan. However, what's been done so far is not enough. There's still a lot that needs to go on in terms of scaling up our logistics capacities. We need to run lots of um, simulation exercises and <clears throat> working closely with WHO, the ministry and all other partners, we have to continue all our efforts and maintain um, basic readiness in case of a response. So a big thank you goes out to all our donors for all the continuous support that they've provided so far. Thank you.